In this video, we're going to take a look at something called the viewport. So I've just got this basic page with a background and a heading of viewport. Let's just take a quick look at the code. Just using the body selector and the H1 selector. And we've just got a level one heading inside the body element. So what I want to talk about is the viewport can be defined as the area that's currently visible to the user. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click inspect element. And I've got the little console draw open here, clicking on this button. And then I'm in the emulation panel. So we can easily emulate a mobile device of a given model for our little viewport exercise. So I'm just going to select a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Then we should go up and refresh the screen, refresh our little mobile emulation. I'm going to bring this down. And as you can see, we have what is visible to the user, the viewport, but we also have these side little parts. It doesn't look very attractive for the end user. As you can see, the end user could scroll left or right, and it looks a little bit strange. So let's jump on back to our code, and what we can do is actually define our viewport. So we do this by setting meta name equals viewport, then content equals the width, we'll say that it's equal to the device width. And then we'll say initial scale equals 1.0. We can set the initial scale to be 1.0 so the device does not zoom in to the page when it loads. So we're just setting the width to the device width and an initial scale of 1.0. Let's save this and let's refresh our page and as you can see we have this page that's actually contained completely within the viewport which is the area that's currently visible to the user.